Hey everyone, Matt here. So it's July 9th, and we're going to inspect our swarm trap colony here. Uh, last time we were in there, they had a newly hatched queen, which we marked with the 2018 colors of red. Uh, so we'll keep our eye open for her. We're just going to go in and just make sure they have enough space and they're not doing some wonky comb stuff. So let's uh, get into it. Stuff on there a bit. I don't know. Hopefully they, uh, didn't get all crazy with their comb. Oh, that seems pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well, they seem to be doing well with that. Let's put this down. Like gaps. So the first frame is empty, which is kind of understanding because it is a smaller colony. So I'll take that one out. The second one has two little lobes on it. You can see kind of not really quite centered. Looks like they're just storing some nectar in it. Let's go down. And this is the other frame we put in here brand new last week or two weeks ago, I guess. Oh, we've got it drawn out that much. And I don't want to tilt it too much, but there's nectar at the top. I see little eggs in all the cells there, so the queen's been laying in them. And they've stored a bunch of nectar up here, which is good. Let's check on this other one. And this next one is a medium conversion frame, but I cut the the frame rests off on the uh, on the medium frames. So it's just got like a 3 8 piece of plywood on top. So they got a cute little uh, <laughs> brood nest. This one's pretty good. You see on this side, same thing. She only, she's only, at least at that time, laid in that section there. But there is larvae and eggs are getting younger as it goes farther down so that's good so the next one is one of the original my first frames that i made my first deep frames i made which are inch and a half wide top bars and sidebars. Ooh, it's heavy. It's not really attached to the bottom. That bottom section down here is not really attached. Ooh, tickly. But uh, you got a little brood nest there. There's, they're drawing honey down into here. 
which makes sense because the, the front entrance or the top entrance hole is right here. But they got uh, some good worker brood there. Same thing on the back side. Storing their uh, honey away from the, the front entrance. So that's good. And then these last two are, uh, well, the one is a deep conversion frame. Which really, let's just give them a little. Just a little smoke there. And that one's all worker brood. All the way down worker brood. So this queen, so it was two weeks ago that we were in here. And yeah, you can see on this side, all worker brood all the way down. So she's been really busy. This frame's kinda not centered there. It's one of the issues with these conversion frames. So that's good. And then this last one is, is uh, I think it's a medium conversion frame. It's hard to tell because it's um, so drawn out at the top. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that crazy stuff. <laughs> so it is a medium conversion frame, but you can see they, they double combed it right here. Because that deep frame wasn't lined up or wasn't plumb, which is unfortunate. Hmm. I'll just take that off a little bit. The other side has lots of pollen and resources. So I'm going to see if I can... I'll take this piece off here and then I'll... Uh, Try and straighten that deep frame there so they don't double comb it again. So let's just back this up a little bit. There's a little bit of brood in there, but just a little bit. Okay, let's get this little piece off right here. Okay, that top piece is not too bad because the, the honeycomb comes out so far. But this queen's doing really well. Let's get this last little piece here. She's doing really well. So let's put her back in. We didn't see her, but we did see new larvae and new eggs. Let's just try and try and bend this frame in. Yeah, I don't think it's going to stay there like that.
little bit of cross comb right there. But I don't think it'll stay out like that. It's almost like where it was screwed in there, but anyways, we'll put it back together. It seems a little bit better. I don't want to twerk it too much. It seems a little bit better. Throw it in there. Yeah, it seems better. Okay, let's just close this up. So she's doing well. This pussy girl. Whoa. And they're drawing out it out pretty good, so we'll just okay, relax. Put in the new frame. And then this one, because of the... I don't think there's enough room. Oh, there is. Hmm. There is enough room, but I don't think we'd be able to get it back out. Because it would be so tight. Just with these inch and a half, these three inch and a half frames, now it kind of throws off the dimensions. Actually, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it back over to this side. So the last drawn out frame that they're going to do is going to be right against this outer wall and then this frame here is um, super straight and drawn out comb and then we'll put the new frame down on this side and then hopefully they'll draw them out straight so I'll just leave that a V space and we'll put one of the new ones in here in case they do mess it up Something is wonky. Oh, that frame's not sitting straight. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We'll just center them in here. Seems good. Let's just close them up here. 